Hello my people, it is your Redneck from Texas Nate, and we are back today with another unboxing video. Yes, we've, we've got some goodies, and this is all mostly comic related that came in. But first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Rube DeGreat. Um, he came by the other day and we've, we talked it up for a while. I always enjoy hanging out with my brothers. Um, but he gave me some, some new shirts. First one being this one, right? Let's be great at it, right? And that's always been his slogan as long as I've known him. I've got his old teacher from way, way back when. Still got it today. And it's still a message I love seeing every day, right? Is that no matter what we do in life, no matter what you do, be great at it and do the best that you can do at all times, right? Because we want to be good and we want to show other people how we are in life and that we're going to try to be our best at whatever we do. So, Rube, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. And I always love your message. And he also gave me another shirt. Okay. This is the black one. So glad to have that. And you know what? I'm, I am a sticker fiend, and he knows I like stickers, too. And so he brought me some goodies. So we got a little Rube in an alien space. Okay. We got the retro. Be great at it. We got the turtle sticker, which matches the shirt. And this one, I really like. I like how that came out, Rube. It's for you, Rube the Great. So, Rube, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, homie. You know, keep your head up. Oh, it's going to be great. I just know it. All right, folks, let's get into these packages and see what we got today. Uh, let's see. We shall start with that one. It's just random, folks. <laughs> uh, this one's coming from our boy Joel Gomez. You guys know him from the channel. Been a long time supporter, long time friend. Uh, I won an auction that he had. So. And it was kind of surprised nobody jumped in on this one. Really, I was because there's so much goodies in this one. Um, so first, before we even show the book, right? We got a little three by three of a cyberpunk La Muerta, right? Because the one that we got really was nice. And it's the La Muerta. This one is the Wasteland Warrior Edition, limited to 40. This is the Joe Gomez edition of it. So I was so glad to win this one because I needed this one for my Gomez collection. Um, is that, like I said, I've been collecting the Infinity Verse for a while and all of his older ones too. So put you back there so you don't get lost. I keep all those little drawings he does, and I appreciate it. So, Joel, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. All right. And these are wonderful. I love these things. I have some stuff to ship to Clan. Oh, that reminds me, too. Clan McDonald is having a uh, Voices Against Cancer Cancer campaign um they've done it for the last couple years um and so they're taking donations and funds and it's to give money back to the cancer society so i will leave a link down below in the description of where you can go check it out and support them if you want to um it's a great thing i like to help them out i donate stuff every year that i can um good people and they're just trying to help out other people who's in need so yeah check that out folks all right from Comic Connection. This is my boy Jason Witten. All the way up in uh, Maine. I got to meet up and check it up with him during Sword Fest. First time I got to meet him in person. Um, Stephen too, actually, from Clan. So it was good to meet and greet and see everybody. Uh, this is a stack he had for me uh, for a couple of orders. So I said just wait and ship it all in one order. It's going to make it easier versus shipping one, right? Like, if it's going to ship one book, it's like, eh, make it easy. Hey, well, 
Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh -huh. That's what I love about, about these guys. They do some great work. Um, they get all these exclusive, which is nice, right? You know, from the perspective of independent, right? So they get stuff out that other people might not get all the time. So. And see, I always do, he does a great deal with top loaders, too. So I always get the top loaders. So we got, uh, oh yeah, so we got Pumpkin. This is the Pumpkin Queen edition from Sun K. Got the regular version. And then we got the Virgin. And then we got the cause and effect from Ebass, Tartan, which is really Clam McDonald. Um, but they got some, so picked up through them. And then we got the Naughty Bits version to go with it. I did, and I do that a lot actually, where I'll, I'll support each one of them. Just to give them a little business both ways, like Clan and SR and Jason, because I believe in all their businesses. I believe in what they do, and I try to help them out as much as I can. Um, can't do it all the time because we've got infinite funds, but try to do what we can. And talking about Clan, here's a, here's a a box from Clan. Let's see what's in this one. I've got a lot of stuff coming from these guys a lot um, just got notified not too long ago about the sworn fest stuff was in and then I got the slabs that I submitted into sworn during sworn fest so we're gonna see a lot from them I'll tell you it was kind of funny during the last couple of videos ago where my power goes out while I'm doing Nicole Rogers' box. Um, that was that was funny. I had to wait till the early morning to go back in and do it, uh, finish it up. But our power went out, and they didn't know when it was supposed to come back on. So I'm like, well, that's not good for us because I can't, you know, we got kids, we have family, we have things, you know, in the house. Um, but... Luckily, by about 8.30 in the morning, it was all gone. So we were able to get everything finished up. Uh, but I was just like, man, I thought at that point, I'm like, man, this, because of all this goodness, it blacked us out. Too much power going on with all these books. But you never know, man. You never know. All right. Man, oh man, there's a lot of books here. Oh, that's a good, ooh, ooh, I got something special in this one. That's the first time I got this one from Clint. They've been taking care of me for a while. Um, and, and they even just hooked me up with the, something I was trying to get. Um, he knew it, because uh, he knew I had to leave Swornfest early, so. You guys will see that whenever it gets done and graded and comes back later. At the rate we're seeing it, maybe it'll be by June, July, August. We'll have to see. I like these boards. I use these again for you good folks when I send books out. It makes it a lot easier. We always like to protect the stuff, so it makes it easier just to reuse. All right, so first up. Holy crap! It's my free book. Um, it is The United States of Captain America. And this, it, it comes with a chip. So, 
that's my first chip from these boys so that's I'm gonna keep that that's a it's a Joe Jusco cover after a Busima. so that's kind of cool I like that okay so these are ah uh, okay now I remember There's a bunch in here, actually. Yeah, there's some. Mm. Okay, so first up, we got the Ryan Kincaid. I'll show this to you guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 150. This is a Ryan Kincaid clan exclusive. Had to have this. Had to support my boy Ryan. He signed this one already. So, snatch that one up. And they make it easy, too. It's like, they just get everything done at once. And then we got... Uh, this is con artist. This is from a while back. We got the trade dress. Side by Ryan. And then we got. Let's get that one in here. Don't do that. I'll do that. There we go. Then we got the Virgin edition. Same as the other, just Virgin without the trade. Um, these ones, though, there's a, let's see everything. These are all Sora Sung cause and effects. I bought the whole set. <laughs> I was like, just give me all of those. Make it easy. Because Sora signed those too. This is, of course, Tartan Publishing, which is Planet McDonald's. So we got, oh, we got number two. Did I get a two? I got two on all of them. I like that. I like that a lot. We got that one. Oh. We got the Virgin Edition. Two out of twenty-five. I was hoping to get one. I thought I was number one, but I saw in the post that there was uh, one more person that did the whole set. And that's what Steven usually does. If you get the whole set, he tries to get your matching uh, set if you can. If you can. So. All right. See, I got the trade dress. I got the virgin. And then we got the hollow foil. Two out of fifteen, so not many, many, not many. And yeah, like I said, these were C two E two um, exclusive, so that's why there's not many. And once they sold out, they were gone. And being that these are clan exclusives too, I I kind of like I like that. Just like when Comic can look, Jason does his own, S, uh, Steve Rose does his, you know. I like I like that. I like their own store exclusive because it supports them directly. Right? And then the last one from that set is the metal edition. I don't buy a whole lot of metals, but sometimes we like to get some. Especially when it's like this. 
Like, that's number two out of ten. That's pretty good, folks. That's pretty good. Okay. So that is it from those. We've got a lot more to go, folks. Like I said, this is going to be a long one. We've got some goodies. We've got a lot of good ones today. All right. So next up, we got from a long, long person we've known for a long time. This is coming from Billy Tucci and Deborah. So this is my uh, Kickstarter from them. So I was so glad when they did, they did this one. If I had a dollar for every Gemini that I had, I, I got, <laughs> I'd be a rich man. So we got, there was a package deal. So you can see, you get the pen. The coin, I don't have a sheep coin. And what's cool is, is this is a 30 year anniversary. So just like we did with Coffin, they're doing their 30 year anniversary as well. Okay, so we got our pencils up, ash can, signed by Billy. And then a second one, I wanted to sign to go with this. And this is Way of the Warrior. Number one, this is the pencil edition of it. So, then Billy signs it here. So, what it does is it goes through the comic book as a color, as the original pencils that were done. Right? Like this. And so, that's what I wanted to get. Because it's kind of cool to see that. I love seeing the whole approach and how it's done um so i was like let me get on that now i've got to go back and get his other omnibuses too um because i hadn't got those yet i got his figure but i haven't got his omnibus yet so we'll have to do a snag that and a sunraku all right next box it's from my boy dustin brunel he said me more goodies Let's see. Let's see what's in said box. Go check out my boys, Ethereal Comics. Um, they will be at Phoenix, Phoenix Fan Fusion um, this Friday. So, well, by the time this video gets up, you might not. It might be too late. But go see. We're gonna go see them at Cowtown. They're gonna be at Cowtown with us. So. Let's see. Mm. And Dustin, you did a good job. Packaging. As always, my brother. Got a little blue tape. Blue tape's the best, man. Comes on, gets off easy. Slide that out. Nope. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get up there. Ah, uh, yeah. We finally. I've been waiting on this for a long time. The listener. This is one through four. And so this is an awesome book. 
Well, listen here, guys. Finally have a trade paperback version of this book. Yay! You guys saw a while back, I got the original version uh, from Dustin as a gift from the Calabunga days versus the Ethereal days. Um, so that one will always be in my collection, no matter what. Because, A, it was given to me from my good friend. Um, but, B, Calabunga doesn't exist no more like that. So... Yeah, this is, I'm excited. I'm so excited. That's two ethereal packages this month, folks. Two books. We got frog legs, and we got the listener in. Okay, so we got the Adam Fields. So there are two of these, right? So this is the regular version from Adam Fields. And then this is the bloodied edition. As you can see around his face and its eyes, it's kind of bloodied there. So, supporting my boy Adam. Um, we got uh, the Marissa Pope original cover. Let's see. Haha, I gotta look at this one. This looks like the Calabunga one. It is the Calabunga one. Dude, Dustin, you sent me the Calabunga one, man. Holy crap. So now I've got a graded and the. Aw, oh, shit. Damn, dude, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is the first one. This is the very first one. And it's a Marissa Pope, too. Holy damn. This is the Calabunga one, too. This is crazy. This is freaking nuts, man. The Jen Leonard, yeah. Yeah, this is number four. Jen Leonard. The beginnings. This is nuts. This is crazy, folks. Crazy. Dustin, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. I love you. I love you, man. Okay, we got two more boxes. Yes, I know it's been a long one, but it's been a well goody day. So we got from my boy Mike Abbott. Sworn brother. He's a sworn brother of mine. We got to hang out with him during Sworn Fest. We had a good time together. Ooh. Oh, 
See that box, that's a good slab box. Okay, that's what we got in the mail. Folks, we got a slabby. This is a cover I thought I would never find. Period dot. Billy Tucci's and Brian Bolito's um, set they did. So this one is part one for me. This is the Reckoning 25th Anniversary Edition. Um, this is the Billy Tucci covers. Um, he did Lady Death on one side and then he did uh, She on the other side. So now I gotta find the She. This one, there's two kinds. There's the metallic, and then there's the regular. And this is the metallic one. So this one is number 14 out of 35. So now I just got to find the she one. I mean, if I can't find the regular ones, okay, I can live with that. As long as I can find a metal one. That's the main thing, because I need the metal one to at least finish the set together. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take me. It might take me a couple of years to get that. But I, when I came back to Coffin, you know, and I saw that they had this issue like this, and I was like, I got to have that. I got to figure that one out. Because it's from two big icons, you know, from the 90s for me. So the hunt really, really begins now for that one. All right. As I'm playing with tape on a board. You guys are like, what the hell, me? Yes, I'm just trying to clean up. I try to clean up as I go. Okay. Mike, thank you again, brother. Okay, the last box of the night is from my good man, Monty Moore. Uh, Monty actually reached out to me and said, hey, Nate, um, the guy that was supposed to get this bailed. Um, and he knew I wanted this one, so he reached out to me. Um, and so I said, yes, I will definitely take it. Um, uh, because I had bid on it. Uh, and I wanted it. And he said, okay, it's all yours. And so, let us show you what we got. Uh, he told me there was something else he was going to send me to with this. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, no, I take that back. I know what it is. Uh, the comic that goes with this one. I... There's some goodies that fell at the bottom. He knows I like goodies and extras. Okay, we're gonna take the goodies first. <laughs> got a sticker. We got a bookmark, a Monty bus. Uh -huh. Uncovered. We got a little, how you doing? Calendar, my cover. Ah, he sent me a couple of cards. Ooh. He sent me some good extras. He sent me Baroness card. Big print. It's like a mini print, yeah. Ah, yeah, he sent the uh, Terminator versus Transformers. He sent me the montage. So this is the volume nine art of Monty Moore. Um, oh, this is kind of cool, actually. So the introduction 
from the Arch Fiend, Brian Polito. So, I love art books. I always do. Oh, yeah. All right, so what did we get? I'm going to take it out of the plastic. Uh, he taped it so it wouldn't move. Okay. And it's the concept drawing that he did for the Terminator versus the Transformers. This is the Terminator sketch drawing he did. So, I wanted to get this. So, he's like, yeah, I got you. So, the what he told me he forgot to send me was the comic to go with it. So that's what we're going to get. So when you see that in a couple weeks, um, you know why. So that's awesome. So Monty, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Thank you guys for everything between Joel and Rube, Jason, Quinn, Billy, Tucci, um, Mike Abbott, and then of course my boy Dustin. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. All right, all right, all right. Swarm.